Building standards are created to give you peace of mind that whatever you are installing meets certain minimums and has the best chance of performing well. Fortified is a nationally recognized building method, and if you are a contractor, it can help show homeowners that you are committed to building strong. And if you're a homeowner, it can help you choose the right contractor to meet your high expectations for your home. Everybody wants their installation to perform as well as possible, and Fortified helps building owners and building contractors do just that. So today, we are discussing with Fortified experts some of their programs and how you can get involved. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett and welcome to Q&A Monday. Subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and every Wednesday. Well today we are talking about building methods, codes, standards, specifically Fortified. What they provide to the industry and how you can get involved. Jump ahead to any of the questions we talk about today by clicking the quick links in the description below. Well my name is Mark Zanel. Um, uh, I'm an old roofer from way back. I've been roofing since 1980. And uh, what I do is I uh, help contractors. Uh, I help um, keep the relationship up between the manufacturers and try to stay in front of people uh, and, and let them know about the Fortify program and, and find out ways that we can help them to succeed uh, in doing this program. Um, and if there's any uh, issues that come into our uh, into our team, our fortified team about roofing, uh, I, I can help guide them to uh, help the contractor be successful. That's that's my main purpose. Yeah, and, and Mark's being modest there. I mean, Mark's uh, you know thirty years in the roofing industry. He's been he's been up there. He's been, he's run businesses. He's uh, he's done code enforcement. So I mean, he's really seen the roofing industry from from all sides and and. Uh, uh, you know his his ability to to help contractors be successful is is really um, a, a significant asset for, for us here at IBHS. Me, I'm my name is Fred Malik. I'm the managing director of the program, so I'm responsible for the day to day operations across the United States, um, from you know standards development to marketing and and uh, uh, you know pushing out the, the the program and growing it. We're uh, uh, we're, we're looking to grow so that we're doing in excess of 10,000 new fortified roofs every year. Um, and that's really what my primary responsibility is, is to find ways to, to make that happen. And, and uh, you know, a little bit about my background, I'm a general contractor by trade. Um, I've been building houses and commercial properties for uh, about 25 years. So I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not from the insurance industry and I'm not an engineer. <laughs> I, you know, I, part of what I do and part of what I bring to the table is, is looking at the, the things that, that come out of our research center and, and making sure that, you know, real people can actually do it. Uh, and it, it makes sense. Um, so, um, you know, that's a little bit about Mark and I, and, and we're both, uh, we're both geared towards just helping, uh, help, helping people deliver great customer service and great products to, to their customers. Well, okay, so you know, starting from the beginning, I mean, IBHS is uh, a nonprofit. We're a science and research organization. We're 100% funded by property insurers and re reinsurers. And so, for for folks that are using Sheffield Metal products that, that that may not be familiar with us, we we exist to try and find ways to uh, reduce or eliminate avoidable property loss and suffering. I mean, that's what it boils, what it really boils down to. You know, severe weather is increasing in its intensity and its severity uh, and its, um, in its frequency. And uh, with more and more homes experiencing these extreme conditions, uh, we're just trying to find ways to keep people in their homes and get back to normal as fast as they possibly can. And with that being said, you know, a bunch of the research that we've done, a lot of the invest post-storm investigations, we've got over 20 years in this space. We've invested well over $40 million just in our research facility. Uh, to investigate these kinds of things. But one of the things that, you know, is, it has been clear for a very long time is that the, the system that really drives losses during small and big storms, that's the roof system because it's under attack every day. Um, and so it's really important to get that, that roof right. And as a result, when we take all that research that we're doing and we're trying to find ways to get that out to the public, we, we put it in the fortified program and, and in the Fortified program, the very first level that, that people can, can achieve is Fortified Roof. And 
going even further, I'll just say that every house in the U.S. that is fortified has a fortified roof. And that's right now, that's over 20,000 homes. Um, so, you know, and, and growing, we, we add about 600 homes uh, a month to our inventory uh, each and every month. And, and we're, we're seeing that pace uh, increase steadily. I and mean, this year alone, we're, we're about 40% um, year over year increase in the volume. And that's, that's homeowners that are asking for, for fortified roofs. So that's a little bit about who we are and, and sort of what we do, or at least why we do it. Um, one thing, too, that I want to make sure that, you know, any, any of your contractors, any of your partners that, that see this, you know, Fortified is not a profit center for IBHS. This is not something that we put out. It's not a product that we put out to make money. Um, we, we feel like we have good information that knowledgeable contractors can use to be uh, a resource for their customers and, and uh, uh, help their customers make good informed decisions about the products that they put on their roof. And so, uh, you know, we do charge some modest fees for training and, and, and stuff like that, but, uh, but that's really not even scratching the surface of, of what our overhead looks like. So it's just, uh, it's really maintenance kind of, kind of fees. But to that end, let me just tell you a little bit more about, uh, what we have to offer roofing contractors. So in, uh, you know, with COVID coming on in, in the early part of the year, we used to do all of our training in person. We really value the relationships that we can build with contractors in the field, but obviously that's been tough to do over the last few months. And so we, we wanted to find a way to continue to share the, our information and to, to help contractors become better informed about uh, Fortified and, and what it can do for them. And so we launched uh, earlier, or actually at the end of July, we, uh, we launched our Fortified Wise University. And that's a virtual LM, LMS, it's a learning management system. And what's so great about that is, is we put up 11 modules that make up a, a Fortified Wise roofing course and it is self-paced. So, you know, a contractor who's busy during the day, who, who doesn't want to pull his guys out of the field, uh, he, he can have them look at the, the, these videos uh, and this virtual training uh, in the afternoon or evenings when it's more convenient. That's about two and a half hours of end-to-end -end content. Um, we offer the, the class to, to just about anybody uh, for qualified contractors, contractors that are licensed, contractors that have uh, uh, experience in the business and in, in our installers, particularly owners and, and project managers, uh, we offer an opportunity to take an exam following the class. If you take that exam and you pass it, you get listed in our, our, our uh, directory and that becomes a lead generator for you. And as I mentioned, you know, we've got more and more homeowners every month looking for fortified roofs and the first place they go is into our directory looking for, for roofers that are, are, are trained and fortified. You know, Mark, I'd like to go back to something that you mentioned during your introduction, is the relationship between contractors and manufacturers. How does that relationship happen, uh, you know, in the fortified program? How do you help that along? How do you work with manufacturers throughout the process as well? Well, that uh, great question. Uh, one of the things that, that I like to do is, is uh, to reach out to the technical people, for instance, like Jeff and, uh, um, and, and other manufacturers as well. And if there's an issue with a contractor, to be able to, to solve that problem quickly instead of the, all this he said, she said stuff, because I've been there with, as a contractor and as, a, a, as a, uh, an inspector. Um, and it, it seems to me that if you could just get somebody together uh, to, to uh, kind of solve that problem. That's what I try to do, be a peacemaker, try, try to, to uh, be the solution guy. And usually, usually it's, it's, it's something uh, that's unfortunately, and I hope people don't take this the wrong way, the contractor has either seen something wrong or has, this is the way I always did it kind of thing. And then we bring the manufacturer in and we look at the, the, the specifications and all. And we usually find out that it's probably some kind of an installation error and and we can overcome those things and that's what i'm there for to help heal that wound talk to me a little bit about the actual nuts and bolts of the fortified roofing program specifically you know how, how do you work with certain products uh, how do you kind of regulate in in your um, your standards you know what products are used how they're installed how, how do you do that training what is that like to give a, a full 
an accounting of, of what goes on. You know, I, I do encourage people to, to go ahead and, and, and view the training, you know, sign up for the training. But generally speaking, you know, what we do, everything starts with research. And, and, and we look at where are the losses occurring? What, what's kind of driving those losses and what can we do about it? And, and then once we've understood that a, a bit, we, we start to look at both the products and the materials that are used commonly in, in building and what are the existing test standards and, you know, are they accurate? Do they, do they help to, to really deliver real world performance, that kind of thing. And, and as we, we, we go through that process, we then you know, start to assemble some of the best practices that we've, we've identified and the test standards that are appropriate. And we start to focus on performance. How can you assemble a, a system of products, particularly when it comes to the roof, how can you assemble a system of products that will end up being durable under extreme conditions? And, you know, not only that, but how do we build in sort of a belts and suspenders approach? Because, you know, that roof cover, no matter what it is, that roof cover is, is under attack all day, every day, you know, throughout the year. And so at some point it, it's going to end uh, or reach its, its useful life. And so if that happens and water is, ap- is able to get underneath it, we can, uh, we can have a, a, another uh, layer beneath that that will keep water out. And, and water getting in through the roof tends to be the thing that displaces people and drives loss more than anything else. So, um, you know, that's, that's sort of how we get started. But we do look at the roof as an entire system. You know, so, so what is the substrate? How is that substrate attached? Uh, does the substrate, is it compatible with the manufacturer who's going to be putting the, you know, whose product is going to be putting on top of that, that roof? Um, and, you know, what are the layers in between there? We, we do advocate uh, in our standard for something called a sealed roof deck. I know you guys are familiar with that term, but essentially, you know, we're, we're going beyond standard underlayments um, and we're giving people a, a few different avenues uh, uh, for success to, to use different strategies that are compatible with different types of, of roof covers to make sure that there's a durable layer underneath that primary cover. Um, and so there's, there's a few different ways you can make that happen. And obviously with metal products, you got to pay attention to things like <laughs> telegraphic fasteners and all that kind of stuff. And so one system or another um, can be, can be used to, to make sure that it's the right system for the, for the finished product. Once, uh, you know, once we, we identify, you know, good installation requirements or installation standards and, and, and good performance requirements for those products, that's where we then you know, ask the roofers and uh, the folks that are participating in the program to make sure that they, they buy products and install products that have documentation that says that that product will, you know, is rated for that particular wind exposure or that particular condition. Uh, and, and then, provide that documentation to us. And at the end of the day, we have a third party verification system. So when roofers participate in our program, one of the, the, the value adds that they can talk to their customers about is, hey, we're, we're voluntarily asking for a third party verifier to come in and take a look at our work and the products that we've installed for you. And that third party, the IBHS, you know, we look at that documentation and then we send a certificate out and that certificate then can be used to unlock all kinds of additional benefits besides, you know, just the bragging rights in the, in the neighborhood. Hey, I got a fortified roof in places like North Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Oklahoma. Um, there are, there are incentives specifically for fortified that give people um, significant discounts on their property insurance. Uh, so those are, those are just some of the things that, that uh, are involved in fortified. So don't mind me interrupting real quick. So if I'm a homeowner and I'm looking at contractor A, who's not part of the fortified program, I'm looking at contractor B, who is part of the fortified program, contractor A, who's not part of the program, he's going to come and he's going to give me a quote and it'll be for the roof system that he suggests and puts on. And it's pretty much, you know, this is, this is what I'm going to offer you. That's, that's my bid. With uh, contractor B, who's fortified, uh, you know, qualified under the fortified program, they're going to come. They're going to give you uh, your their bid, same idea, but it's going to be per fortified standards. It's going to have a sealed roof deck, so an ice and water shield underlayment, probably mandatory. It's going to be per 
the manufacturer's testing or the contractor's own specific testing that meets Fortified's requirements. And then it's going to be inspected by uh, an inspector through your program to ensure that everything in those in that paperwork took place. So, yeah, uh, I would say that you're, you're pretty spot on there, Jeff. Um, one of the things that we do offer is a roofing checklist. So we have uh, one of these for the hurricane standard and one for high wind, which kind of gives a, it's, it's kind of like, it's a checklist that, that, that you can use to go right through the roofing system itself. Uh, when I was a contractor, I always had checklists because I didn't want to forget anything. And I always made uh, my uh, salespeople use those. So it's a real handy tool. So if somebody's actually going to do or is a fortified roofer, or certified roofer, they have access to this and they can not miss any of the, the points that we're looking for. And uh, one of the things that, 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 uh, that you did kind of miss right out in the beginning is the nailing of the deck. One of the things that we do require is that the deck is nailed a specific way, uh, whether it's hurricane or high wind and those standards. And then the sealed roof deck comes after that. We do have three options uh, that you can use for the sealed roof deck. Um, and then put the manufacturer's uh, installated, uh, uh, their, their roof on per their installation instructions. Uh, and another thing you brought up was, which is really important and it goes to what you all do and that's the, the metal roofing is the uh, design pressure. Um, design pressure is, is a key component to uh, roofing installations and it's something that's not really been looked at over the years outside of Florida that I know of. I mean some people know about it, some people don't, but I know you guys deal with it. I, I watch your videos, your videos are so cool, you guys just have such a good time uh, and that's why it's so important I think for us to have this good relationship with you. You guys have great information and it's good for the contractors to have that resource and that's what we want to be. We want to be that resource so we try to give them those tools. So just to let you know, yes, the person that's the fortified roofer, they have tools and, and we try to continue to give them more and more tools to work with to be successful in getting their roofs put on properly. I mean, we, we do try to find ways to offer additional support. So, you know, supporting manufacturers who reach out and do training, that's, that's a key thing for us. Mark has also, uh, you know, been the star, the featured actor in a, in a series of videos that, uh, walks through the different components and the different systems in, in the roof that we look at. Uh, and we even, in addition to the, to the checklist that Mark mentioned, uh, we do have some one pagers that, that are available both in English and in Spanish uh, that address things like, you know, sealed roof deck, roof deck nailing, uh, edge detailing, that kind of stuff. And, and again, you know, we don't cover the entire universe of, of roofing product installations, you know, we would prefer to, to work with manufacturers so that manufacturers can tell, you know, their contractors who are using their products, you know, how that, that product should be installed. We just want to shine a light on that so that we can make sure that uh, folks are, you know, doing something that's compatible uh, and that's, uh, you know, going to be uh, in accordance with your instructions so that, you know, that roof is, is got the best possible chance to perform. And, and uh, if there is, some sort of uh, issue that's covered under warranty, then, then that warranty is, uh, you know, can be applied. But, uh, um, you know, that, uh, you hit the, the nail on the head, Mark. And we're always, one of the, one of the things about having Mark, who has relationships with you guys and in, in, in the technical teams uh, at the different manufacturers, is that we can be a resource for a, developing additional tools. When a contractor tells us, hey, man, I, I need some help with this. I, I, I need to understand how to do this, or I, I don't understand the, the design pressure and, and, and how to how to get to it. You know, we've even developed calculators on our website that contractors can use, uh, so that they don't have to fumble around in the code book and flip around and try to figure out what you know what it is they should be uh, telling their their supplier that they need to to buy. Um, so you know, we're always on the lookout for how can we help, how can we add to the tool set that uh, that roofers can use. Uh, well, I, I see your guys' program as a, as a great resource for contractors, you know, as far as education. And, and not only, like you said earlier, their business, as far as setting them apart, being able to say that I'm fortified, certified. Um, you know, and then it's obviously to homeowners, you know. I mean, there's so much information about metal roofing out there. And to try to figure it out when, you, you know, your roof is leaking and you need to get something on, uh, you know, this takes a lot of the guesswork out of it because, you know, if you get a fortified – contractors that you know they know what they're doing and they got certain expectations they need to be sure yeah and, and you know one of the other things that, that we do do jeff at that is is uh uh we try to develop some of the the marketing collateral too because we know sometimes it can you know 
when you're trying to sell a roof, you know, you, you've got a little bit of time to, 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 to talk with your, your contract. You know, the contractor has a, a little bit of time to convince the homeowner that they're the right fit for them. And, and, and you know, back when I was selling houses and, and having to sell my services as a, as a contractor, you know, I always wanted to make sure that they felt I was a trusted resource and I was an expert. And when, whenever they felt that way, I seemed to book more jobs. And so, um, you know, we, we do try to, to help people be that expert that's out there on the cutting edge. And when they're, when they, you know, they're aware of Fortified and they're working with us, they can use our videos, they can keep up to date with our latest research. And, and you know, the, the fan wall behind me, I mean, there, there's pretty impressive stuff that comes out of our research center that, you know, can help tell a story you know, in, in a couple of seconds uh, where a roofing contractor might have to take, you know, a few minutes to try and get people's head around uh, fortified. They can take one of those videos and say, well, you know, this is the kind of roof that I offer if you, if you want to go this route. And, you know, here's it, here's what it looks like when it's been demoed and tested. And, and so, you know, we, we do develop marketing collateral. Uh, we even have some social media posts that can be used. Um, you know, and, and so once you, once a contractor goes through our, our fortified wise training and, and at fortifiedwise.com and and watches either the hurricane uh, training or the or the high wind training and they pass that test they they can get listed in our directory as i mentioned but they also can use our logo and our branding uh in their on their website in their sales brochures uh and that type of thing so you know again we, we try to find ways to help people win at the kitchen table because you know we, we understand how important it is to book jobs and we also understand sometimes how hard it can be to to really uh, emphasize value over price, you know, you gotta you gotta bring a lot when you're gonna offer a, a roof system that's gonna cost a little bit more, and and uh, and so you know we want to try and figure out ways that that help that conversation be had faster and easier, so the contractor doesn't have to figure it out on his own. Absolutely. So, how does a contractor, if they're interested in becoming part of the program and offering a fortified roof, how do they become part of that program? Yeah, so the, the key really is to, to go to, to the, the, the fortifiedwise.com uh, website, or you can go through our fortifiedhome.org website and uh, get to the, to the, the training, uh, register, and there's just a couple of questions. You create an account. We don't share any of that information outside of IBHS. And uh, uh, once you're, you're in, you'll, you'll see the library of courses that are available. Uh, the, the, the course by itself uh, costs $100. You've got uh, 90 days to, com to complete it, um, and uh, you can, like I said, you can view it at your own pace. They, they, they are 10 modules that uh, walk you through from who is IBHS, what is fortified, what's the process, right on up through the, uh, you know, each of the technical requirements. Uh, there's a, you know, a little questionnaire at the end to help us make sure that we do uh, a good job and keep the training up to date and keep it, keep it uh, uh, user-friendly. Um, if you want to uh, go beyond just taking the training and you want to become listed as a fortified contractor, uh, a qualified representative of the company has to take a, the exam. The exam is $50 uh, and it's a multiple choice exam. Um, it's uh, there's no, you know, there's no short essays or anything like that. It's multiple choice. Uh, and if you, if you score a passing grade on that, then, then uh, you're notified that you've passed the exam and that you're, you're going to go ahead and be listed in the directory. And that's when you can start unlocking those other things, the, the, the use of the, the, uh, um, the, the logo and the branded materials and all that kind of good stuff. That, that's, that's really what it takes. Uh, and then we, you know, as we work with you and you start to, to work with an evaluator in the field to document your work, uh, if you've got questions, we've got Mark available and some other team members that can answer some of those questions. We really like that Sheffield's leaning in so that, you know, if, if one of your existing customers you have a relationship with, if you can be a resource for those guys to, to help them understand how to choose the right products that you offer to be successful, that that's available too. But uh, once you get, you know, once you get that, uh, um, uh, once you start getting volume under your belt, uh, we do have an annual awards program as well, where we recognize folks that, that are installing, um, vol you know, volume uh, fortified roofs. So there's some additional opportunities to get uh, more and more recognition uh, as, a, as a result of participating in the, in the program. If I was a contractor still, uh, when, I, when I found out about fortified, I would have been all over this because it's just an advantage that you have as a contractor. And one of the, one of the key things about the training is that you understand the program. If you walk into the program and try to do one of these roofs without, without understanding the documentation parts of it, you're going to probably fail. 
and you don't want to have that homeowner who has paid a little extra money to get a fortified roof mad at you. They're going to be mad at us. They're going to be mad at the manufacturer. They're going to be mad at everybody because they didn't get that little designation and they probably won't get their home, that discount on their home, on their home and homeowner's insurance. So um, that's why I encourage the roofers um, take the time, take this opportunity to get trained. Uh, it's not going to train you to be a roofer, but if you are a roofer, it's going to help hone your skills like Fred was saying earlier um, and, and just give you the, that dimension that, that uh, you may not have to work with now by getting inspections, but to learn how to work with uh, an evaluator and develop that relationship to, uh, to be successful. And as uh, Fred talked earlier about the, you know, the successes that we've had, especially in the past hurricane, in North Carolina, um, that's something that you could brag about to your, to your customers. Yeah. And I'd say that, you know, the only other thing I'd add to that too is, you know, while we want, you know, as many roofers to participate as, as we can, you know, we, we rely on our relationship with the roofers because you are the ones that, uh, that end up, you know, talking to the homeowners more directly than, than either Mark or I, you know, you're representing our brand. And, and so, uh, you know, we want, we want, we have every motivation to make sure that, that we can provide as many tools as possible for you to be successful. And we, we really want to partner with uh, folks that, that consider uh, reputation and value and durability uh, to be core things that are important to them as a company uh, and, and as a roofer. So, um, you know, Fortified isn't necessarily a great fit for every roofer. If, if there's, you know, if they're, uh, uh, if they're not sort of wired towards delivering that, that high performance product uh, to their, to their customer. But, you know, we know a lot of, uh, of those folks that are, are putting on Sheffield metal roofs, uh, you know, fall into that category. And so, um, you know, we, we're just thankful again for the opportunity here. And, and uh, we look forward to, you know, getting to meet more of the folks that are using your products and, and making sure that, uh, that we work, can work together to get them installed the, the way they should be. You know, I think everything the Porter Pride program does is everything that we try to promote here at Sheffield Metals. You know, proper installation, long-term metal roofing, best practices for on everybody's end. From a homeowner's end, you want it done right the first time. You know, you don't want any issues. And for on a contractor's end, you want to do it right the first time. You know, anytime you got to go back and redo something, all it does is cost you money. So, you know, the contractor can get through the job, get paid, move on to the next one. The homeowner gets the product that they were expecting. Everybody's happy, um, and they get a lifetime metal roof, and that's and that's the goal. Uh, I think the guys are doing a great job. I love the promotion of design pressures and engineering, and you know that's that's what it's all about is uh, long-term metal roofing, happy customers, happy contractors all the way around. So if you're a roofing contractor and you want to take your business to the next level and make sure that you are installing the highest quality product that you can over and over again, tested and proven by engineering and real world situations, or if you're a homeowner that wants to find the best contractor possible for your home or your building, visit Fortified. All the links are in the description down below. Also, comment below if you have any questions you'd like us to answer. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel for more content just like this. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett and we'll catch you next time.